extraterrestrial landscapes you can visit. Hey everyone, it's Alexa and welcome back to another video. There are many places on our very own planet that look as though they don't belong. Many are inaccessible and can't be visited by the average Joe, but we've compiled a list of unusual, out-of-this-world places that you can take a trip to and check out for yourself. These are not only fascinating, but they're beautiful as well, and this video may just inspire you. Spotted Lake in the eastern part of British Columbia's Similkameen Valley, a saline endorheic alkali lake known as Spotted Lake can be found. The lake contains high concentrations of various minerals, including sodium sulfates, calcium, and magnesium sulfate, as well as eight other minerals, and it holds low levels of titanium and silver. In the winter, the colors of this fantastic lake aren't so visible, but the spots are amidst the snow and ice. In the summertime, the lake water mostly dries up and leaves the mineral deposits behind, which show up variously colored due to the different compositions. Also in the summer, some of the minerals left behind will solidify and create natural paths between and around the spots. These days, though, visitors are not allowed to walk on the site as it is an ecologically and culturally sensitive landmark. It can be viewed from a fence along the road and sure makes for one interesting alien sight to see. Wadi Rum. This place has a nickname, a nickname which is Valley of the Moon, and it's easy to see why. Although it does kind of look like a combination between the moon and Mars, it is found in southern Jordan and is the largest of all the wadis or valleys in the country. The area has been inhabited by many different people over time with many leaving their marks and some of their stories behind in the form of temples and all kinds of different art. The highest point in Jordan, known as Jabal Um Adami, is located within Wadi Rum, and from the top, on a clear day, one can see all the way to the Saudi border in one direction and to the Red Sea in another. The area became popularized after images of it appeared in Lawrence of Arabia in the 1960s and has since drawn many climbers, trekkers, safari goers, campers, and those with all terrain vehicles. There are also luxury camping opportunities in the area, making tourism that much more popular. Lassen Volcanic National Park. Our next extraterrestrial looking area can be found in the northeastern part of California, and it features the world's biggest plug dome volcano called Lassen Peak. Lassen Peak is found in the Cascade Range, of which it is the southernmost volcano. Initially, the park was split into two different national monuments, Lassen Peak National Monument and Cinder Cone National Monument, both of which were designated in 1907 by President Theodore Roosevelt. Just off the northern coast of California, the North American plate pushes the Gorda plate downward, creating a subduction zone, which is the source of the heat for the volcanism in the area. This park is one of the only areas on the planet where one can see examples of stratovolcanoes, shield, cinder cone, and plug dome, the four different types of volcano. The painted dunes in the park look truly alien. They're pumice fields that come in a variety of colors, and they were formed due to eruptions in the area nearly 400 years ago. Eight. Bromo Tengger Semeru National Park. Found in Indonesia, this park features the ancient volcano named Tengger and multiple volcanoes, some of which are active, that have since formed around it. The highest mountain in Java Mount Semeru is located in this group of mountains called a massif. The park also hosts the Tengger Sand Sea and is the only conservation area in all of Indonesia with a sand sea. Here, one will also find 50 rivers, four lakes, and a plethora of different plant and animal species. Inside of the Tengger Caldera, there are four active Active volcanoes, Mount Watangan, Mount Widodarin, Mount Kersey, and Mount Bromo, and one inactive, Mount Batok. Visitors are urged to visit the peak of Mount Penanjakan for a spectacular view of the entire volcanic complex. The whole area is different than almost anywhere else in the world and looks like something more meant for another planet or a sci-fi movie than planet Earth. Namib Nagluft National Park. If you guessed that this next excellent alien looking landscape might be found in Namibia, you are correct. This national park is part of the Nagluft mountain range, as well as the oldest desert in the world, the Namib Desert. It covers 19,216 square miles and has many incredible features. The most popular is Sosusvle, a red dune surrounded salt and clay flat. This is Namibia's most well known and most visited attraction. A fog flows off of the Atlantic Ocean and rolls over the area which brings around four inches of rainfall every year, all of which falls between February and April. The winds that drive the fog help to form the incredible orange sand dunes in the park, and that orange sand shows just how old the sand really is. Throughout time, oxidation of the iron, also known as iron oxide or rust, in the sand causes it to become brighter and more vibrant in color. The sand dunes here are the tallest in the world, as sometimes they can rise to a height of around a thousand feet above the desert floor far below. It looks like what we 
would picture seeing and experiencing on Mars. And if you're a fan of mind-blowing sights, this should be on your bucket list. Wiling Yuan. This historic Chinese site is found in the Hunan province in the Wiling Yuan district and is designated a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The area is well known for its alien-like quartzite sandstone pillars that number over 3,000. Many of these interesting pillars reach more than 660 feet into the sky and are surrounded by incredible landscapes below. Gorges and ravines are prominent features in the area as well as waterfalls, pools, rivers, lakes, and streams. There are natural bridges and more than 40 caves in Wiling Yuan, and in total, the number of attraction sites to be seen is over 560. If you want to see some truly out-of-this-world natural features, visit the 266 square mile Willing Yuan and take in the beauty of this almost overwhelmingly natural area. Hang Sun Dong. Forget everything you think you know about caves. Hang Sun Dong is unlike any you've ever encountered before. This immense and beautiful cave sits very close to the Laos Vietnam border and features a fast moving subterranean river. But that's not quite what makes it so special. The incredible size of its cross section distinguishes it from every other cave on the planet, as it's by far the largest. Actually, it's thought to be roughly twice the size of any other cave's cross section, and by volume, it's, as of now, the largest known cave passage on Earth. It's estimated to be somewhere between 2 and 5 million years old and was formed in soluble limestone. Inside, it runs for around 5.6 miles and features two large sections where the ceiling has collapsed inward. These are called dolines. The sun can shine through the dolines, which has allowed for vegetation and trees to grow inside these sections of the cave. Tourists can visit, but if you want to check out the whole cave, just know that permits for the four-day trip go for $3,000. Yokul Sarlon. This giant, almost otherworldly glacier lake can be found near the edge of Vatna Yokul National Park in Iceland. The lake was formed by the receding of a glacier from the Atlantic Ocean. The crazy and obvious thing about this lake is that it keeps growing in size due to the continual melting of the glaciers in the area. It spans roughly 6.9 square miles and is said to be the deepest lake in all of Iceland at more than 814 feet deep. Want to hear something scary? The size of the lake has increased about four times from what it was in the 70s and it's a natural wonder for the country. Another scary thing is that the almost seven square mile lake is believed to have been formed over just the last seven decades, as 1948 is mentioned as a possible year the melting started. Around 60 to 70,000 people take boat tours on the lake every year and enjoy the odd sights of the many icebergs and other spectacles in the area. Socotra. This fairly decent-sized island is the biggest of four islands that make up the Socotra archipelago and constitutes around 95% of the entire thing. These islands can be found between the Arabian Sea and the Gardafui Channel, and they belong to Yemen. They are so isolated that they feature many plants, about one-third of the entire plant population, that are endemic to the area. Socotra has sometimes been called the most alien-looking place on Earth, and one very surprising thing about it is that it's of continental origin and not volcanic. Volcanic. This means it wasn't formed via volcanic activity like the Hawaiian Islands or Santorini, but was once a part of supercontinent Gondwana and broke off sometime during the Miocene Epoch. One of the more prominent and recognizable plants from Socotra is the Dragon's Blood Tree, which is umbrella-shaped and was highly regarded by ancient peoples. There are caves, a limestone plateau featuring karst topography, coastal plains, and even the nearly 5,000-foot-tall Hajir Mountains. It sure is an exciting and unique unique place and its isolation has helped it stay looking like something from another world and not right here on Earth. Delol. This locality in northern Ethiopia is most definitely one of the more bizarre and alien-looking places on this list. It sits at an elevation of around 430 feet below sea level and has an average yearly temperature that's around 105 degrees Fahrenheit. The thing is, the odd place is not far from Hamadela, a village just down the road from this active hydrothermal system that's made up of various fumaroles, springs, and terrace systems. The system makes for some pretty exciting colors, which are caused by the various minerals found here. The area is pretty toxic, as liquids from the hydrothermal springs are acidic in nature. Actually, the liquid is said to be anoxic, hyperacidic, hypersaline, high-temperature brines that contain more than 26 grams per liter of iron. So it doesn't contain oxygen, has a pH of below zero, literally as acidic as it can get, is extremely hot at above 226 degrees Fahrenheit, and is made up of a lot of iron. Besides the crazy-looking terrain and the incredibly alien features, there are some life forms that are able to live here, and they are helping astrobiologists study just how life may be able to live on other planets. 
We've seen some incredible alien-looking landscapes so far, and we still have one more to go. But first, we'd like to ask you, where is the most out-of-this-world place you've ever been? Have you ever been somewhere that made you feel more like you were standing on another planet than somewhere on our very own Earth? Tell us about it in the comments below. Lensois Marinensis National Park this trippy national park can be found in northeastern Brazil, and it became a protected park on June 2, 1981. There are 43 miles worth of coastline and rolling, unique sand dunes throughout the 380,000-acre area the park is made up of. One thing that makes this site so different than anywhere else is the fact that during the rainy season, the valleys that separate the dunes fill up with water and create freshwater lagoons. The lagoons can't drain because of a layer of rock beneath the sand that keeps it from going anywhere. Anywhere. This place may look like a desert, but it receives approximately 47 inches of rainfall a year, and most of it happens between January and June. The park sees around 60,000 visitors per year, not only to see the crazy phenomenon, but to camp, horseback ride, canoe, surf, and take water tours in the alien-looking land. 